so Uncle Rona is still in town, I guess. So I decided that the best way to cope is to get out of this world by buying some virtual reality. Virtual Boy, a 3D game for a 3D world. I did get some sick gains from the stock market. Not like sick sick, but enough for an Oculus Rift S. Now I have no spendable money, but in return, I get to escape this stupid world. Or so I thought. In theory, all you're supposed to do to make this thing work is run the software, plug in USB and display port, and just follow the prompts. In reality, the way you set it up is a freaking nightmare. So this is what happened. I plugged it in, and this is where the problem started. So I got to this screen and well, I was stuck on this screen for a while. For some reason, my computer just wasn't detecting that the Oculus had its USB 3 and display port plugged in, despite them being plugged in. So, at this point I try to reach Oculus support, but it turns out that they don't have a phone number, or a chat, like any other normal company. Shit, that's not a good sign. So I sent one of those stupid support tickets and waited a whole day to get an answer. In the meantime though, I did my own troubleshooting, and I found out through forums, that you can actually get past this screen by going into Device Manager, right clicking and uninstalling any device that says Rift S on their USB, and then select delete the driver software for this device, and then clicking uninstall. Now all I had to do at this point was unplug USB 3, and plug it back in, and boom, it works. And you know, I just, I thought I had solved the problem at this point, but nope. My problems continued as soon as I pressed continue. <sighs> Sensors, can't, track, headset. These words have been haunting me for the past four days, as you know, from when I'm writing this, uh... So here's the deal. Even if you press skip setup, then sensors still can't sense. So basically, no gyroscopic movement whatsoever. I could boot up VR software, but all I get is a rounded rectangle with three dots and nothing else. I can get audio though, so I guess that's cool. So I get an email the next morning from the first problem, which I have solved already, and I talked about the new problems that I'm having. Meanwhile, I try a whole bunch of other solutions that I see in different forums on the internet. I try restarting my PC, plugging my device into all of my USB 3 ports, all two of them. I try using a powered USB 3 hub, which I don't see how that would work since it still requires it to plug into one of my two ports. I even tried reinstalling freaking Windows 10, which isn't a huge problem for me since my SSD is strictly just for Windows and some programs, but, and, you know, all of my storage is in a hard drive, but that's another story. But the point is, uh, none of this worked. And I don't get why it doesn't work, you know? All I should need is uh, an AMD FX 4350, a GTX 1050 Ti, I think, 8 gigs of RAM, one USB 3 port, a display port, I have all of that, I mean. Yeah, my PC rig is pretty shit by today's standards, not gonna lie. You know, I can't afford a new PC. But I should still be able to at least, you know, get anything, something. So, what the hell? Well, the next day I get another email from Oculus. They give me a whole list of things to try, most of which I actually already tried from the forums. Uh, so I went in and just tried the ones that I, you know, that are new to me. And... You know, here I go, try unplugging everything and plugging it back in, which of course didn't work. They told me to run the Oculus Drivers program, which is the software that it comes with the installation and everything. It's supposed to update your Oculus Drivers, but it actually brought me back to this freaking problem. So there I go again to Device Manager. I tried unplugging my secondary screen and any other USB device that wasn't essential. And I tried telling Windows no when it wants to turn off uh, USB devices to save power. And as expected, none of this worked, so... You know, they had me send them log files to analyze the issue, and I also sent them screenshots of the problem, you know, just... for context. So, of course, this means I have to wait another day for a response. <laughs> Why don't they have a phone number? Thank you for calling Oculus. Our representatives are very busy at the moment. If you are experiencing a problem with your Oculus Rift S, say help me Mark Zucchini. If you would like to give us more money, Press 2. Para Espanol, a prima el uno. Ah, right. That's why. I guess I prefer this. In the meantime, I actually downloaded USB 3 drivers for Windows 7, 
for my motherboard. And it actually installed that. And guess what? No, no it, it, it wasn't working still. I, I'm sorry to have uh, raised your hopes with this one, but I actually found a new symptom, which I found very fascinating. So now in Device Manager, there was a whole new thing called the uh, Imaging Tools or something like that. And below it was Rift S, which actually kept coming in and out. Like it would stay plugged in for like 30 seconds and then it would unplug for another 30 and then it would come back on and it would just keep repeating that. So at this point I started thinking, is this a power issue? Like maybe my motherboard's USB isn't outputting the power to, you know, power the rift sensors? I mean, after all, there's like five webcams. Nah. <laughs> What kind of company would be stupid enough to build a device that can't reliably be powered by USB? But as it turns out, many people that were having my exact issue was because of their USB. You know, not outputting enough power. Furthermore, this is a problem that's specific to motherboards that use an Ace Media USB 3.0 controller. So, if this was a problem, what would the solution be? Well... Obviously, it would just be to, like, buy a PCIe USB 3.0 card with a different controller. Now, I was not about to gather gold to buy another thing, so I wanted to wait for Oculus to message me back before making that decision and pray to Mark Zucchini that this problem had a much simpler solution. So, the next day, Oculus messages back and say, Yeah, our locks say that our product doesn't like your USB 3.0. Uh, you'll probably have to buy a PCIe USB 3.0 card for it to work. And we can't really give any recommendations because we're too lazy to do any kinds of tests. So, you know, have fun getting recommendations from strangers on the internet. Get wrecked. <laughs> and that's uh, the end of our conversation so far. So there I go browsing the forums and looking for people that had this exact same issue and resolved it by buying a PCIe card and look for recommendations. It's thirty dollars with tax and shipping taken into account. <sighs> so luckily, my friends Sally and Hector were cool enough to get me the gold that I need to fucking go to fucking Amazon and fucking buy this fucking card that I fucking hope fucking works. And if this fucking card doesn't fucking work, then I'm gonna fucking return this fucking piece of shit to Mark Zucchini and pray to Arceus that he steps on a Lego. Actually, I hope he steps on a Lego regardless, but uh. Ah, uh, crap, his scales will protect them at that point. I'm gonna- I'm gonna have to go with no on that. Uh, I- I am- I am not a lizard. So that's where I'm at right now, at this point of the video. You know, when, when I'm actually talking. Of course, this video will continue, and I'll let you know in a few seconds relative to you, whether this PCIe thing works, so... See you in like two seconds. I have to assemble the bracket myself, apparently. Now, I am the Chinese workshop. Sorry, switch shop. I, I meant switch shop. So I just remembered that all of my PCIe are actually occupied, so if I want to install this thing, I have to sacrifice that NVMe drive down there, or my Chinese capture card. And considering no one watches my streams ever, uh, I guess I'll go for the, the capture card. Because, like, what am I losing anyways? Hmm... Should I go with Sato or should I go with Molex? Uh, the anticipation is killing me. Remember CDs? Well, this is a DVD, but remember CDs? Cool, my computer now has uh, 13 f***ing USB ports. Better work. I was so close to returning this thing, but then I remember a forum post that mentioned that if you get a PCIe card, you should change the drivers to the generic one. So, device manager, and then um, go to universal serial bus, and then go to the fresco, which is the one I just got. Right click, uh, properties, uh, driver, and then uh, update driver. Browse my computer for drivers, and then let me pick from a list. And instead of using the Fresco logic, I have to use the USB uh, XI ch blah 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 compliant host controller. And you know, as soon as I did that, it actually finally worked. <laughs> I also remember to you know just 
the power management and uncheck all of those on the new ones, but you know, it finally... Uh... Why was it this hard? Like, why did I have to jump all kinds of stupid hoops just to get my Oculus Rift working? Like, it doesn't make any sense. My chest is freaking pissed. Look at this chest. It's going crazy. I don't know whose fault this is. Like, is it Oculus? Is it Mark Zucchini? Is it Windows 10 in general? I don't know. Why was it this hard? Fix it! In conclusion, although I was able to get the Oculus Rift S working, it took way too many extra steps that didn't need to be taken. Nowhere in the store page does it say that it might not work with Ace Media USB, and this is something you'll just have to figure out the hard way by researching your motherboard or looking at your device manager or whatever. I'm not sure how well this device works with other USB 3 controllers, but the forums I looked at all seem to have a problem with Ace Media specifically. And I know some of you might be asking, why didn't I just get a Oculus Quest? Well, this would have been significantly more expensive. But Warren, aren't both headsets the same price? Yes, but with the Oculus Quest, I would have had to also buy a link cable, which is apparently $80. And I would have also need to have bought a USB-C card because my computer doesn't have USB-C, so that would have been another $30 or so. So the Quest was definitely not a good choice for my situation. But anyway, I got this to work, it was a nightmare, and I wish Oculus website would warn you of this issue. But alas, they don't, and that's why I made this video. If you have an Oculus Quest, let me know how that worked out for you, or if you've had any problems with the Oculus Rift S, also let me know because I'd like to hear your story. And that's all I have for now, so I guess, uh, have fun.